welcome back. This Tim Talk here is gonna be titled The Chickadee That Shared My Space. Now the idea of this talk is this. The other day I was sitting in the woods and a chickadee, a small songbird came and started rummaging around in the leaves for food. And he moved within about three feet of me. You know, and I was so calm and quiet and peaceful just sitting against this tree, enjoying the woods, that I didn't put out any uh, energy of negativity. So the bird had no fear. Because remember, anim remember, animals feel, they work, we, there's this energy, which I've talked about before, that flows through all life, called the spirit that moves through all things. And it's, it's, it's like a river of just the, the essence of the earth. And all things float on that. And when you tap into that, you, you can open your heart up and your mind up and literally put the call out for animals and other types of beings to come and be with you in your space. And then sometimes it just happens randomly. You're just so peaceful that it just happens. So I, I was, even though I've done this a zillion times, I'm sitting there hanging out with the chickadee. And he's pecking around, getting by my shoes almost, this and that. And I realized what a sacred moment to be with this bird in the woods. Just it, the bird and me. And I just elevated the moment by making the simple observation of how sacred it was. And the bird just stayed and stayed and stayed. He shared a part of my day with me, a part of my journey. And I realized we don't, we don't, even us true nature lovers, true earth caretakers, we get so busy sometimes, we forget to just take sometimes a moment to observe something special happening. And often it's with animals. Like I'll walk down the trail back and forth to our kitchen in our camp. And we go through this gulch called Lizard Gulch. And in the summer, it's hot. And there's a lot of lizards and snakes that hang out in the rocks. And often, I'll just stop and I'll hang out with a lizard for a bit. Or if I see a snake, I'll pick him up and hold him or I'll hang out with him. Often, I'll stop and I'll see a bird in a tree and I'll stop and I'll talk to it. Or I'll thank it for being there. You know, I'll enjoy its company. I'll, I'll express myself either through my eyes or my smile, or my motions, or I'll, I'll say something, or I'll offer a blessing uh, in the form of good wishes and goodwill and a good life, or I'll give a thank you, you know, and it can be, a, and there's many animals that are kind of the intercessors for these things, like many types of birds will come and spend time with you, squirrels will come and spend time with you, there's certain animals like that, it can become very possible Especially if you're feeding them at your house, like bird feeders and things, and they get a little more used to you. When it happens with something a little bigger, like a bear or a deer, stop and spend time and observe. Um, snorkeling out of the water with fish. No, and, and then, of course, there's an entire universe of insects that you could spend time with. Butterflies are one of the great gifts. They'll land right on your hand, on your head. Bees, you can enjoy them. Doesn't mean you're gonna get stung, you just hang out and watch them. You ever stop and really watch a bee go into a flower and drink the nectar? You ever really have done that? That's extraordinary to really look. Um, have you ever watched a hummingbird really go into a flower? So I'm saying this is because I, I, I really feel like if you acknowledge these moments, whether it's the simplest little animal or the most profoundly big one, like a bear. Uh, if you acknowledge these moments and soak the moments up, really soak them up, give it some time. Don't you have time for nature? You've got to. That will make you an earth caretaker. And that, in a lot of ways, is a gift that nature gives us if we allow ourselves to receive the gift. But if we're too busy all the time, 
or if our energy is too frantic, nothing wants to come around us, um, we miss so much of the phenomenal planet that we live on. So take the time. Take the time. Acknowledge the sacredness of the moments you can have with wildlife and share your space.